there's a better way to calculate price and scores in your forms. And here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Follow me on this tutorial and join the thousands of users using Formulu every day to boost their business efficiency. And remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more useful content every day. The first thing we need to do is to build our form. So let's head over to our dashboard and use one of the ready-to-customize templates. Today, let's use the self-grading quiz. You can also add new fields and add new questions you want to ask, remove fields or move them with the drag and drop. You can also change the look of your form here in the design tab, change the colors of your quiz, add a background image and even customize the text on the buttons and messages. Awesome! Now that we have customized our form, we can head over to our logic tab and start calculating the total score. To do that, let's go to the advanced logic. Here we are going to click on add if else on each question and insert the score that we want. Now we want to add a variable field to show the total score. But what's a variable field? As the user fills out the form, the variable field allows the storage of calculated data, enabling efficient organization and analysis of the user's input. So if, for example, you have different courses, you can create your formula to calculate estimations, areas, and much more in variable fields. For example, if you have four lessons and want to calculate each part separately and also have the total score, you will need five variable fields. And here, as you can see, each field has an ID. Now let's choose the formula type for the total score to calculate the total quiz score by adding all scores in the default value box. Great, now we can add the total score to our success message. The result of our quiz will be based on the total score. So to display the total score after submitting the form, we should add the total score ID to the success message. In this example, the ID of the total score in the variable field is total underscore score. Knowing that, we can now write in the success message as your total score is double braces total underscore score double braces. But that's not it. We can also add other variables in a table or with any design that you want. This quiz has multiple success pages based on the score, so you can redirect users to different success pages based on their total score. This means, for example, you can create two success pages for pass and fail, and write the total score and the description for each page. And with the logic, you can connect the calculated score to each page that you want. It's pretty awesome, right? So let's go back to advanced logic, scroll all the way down and after the last question here, we can add a new condition. So let's say if the score is greater or equal to 20, after submit, go to success page and now let's choose the pass success page. And that's it, we have created a form with calculation in just a few clicks. Now you can transform your online forms yourself from static to dynamic with our tutorial on how to create calculation forms. Hopefully these tips and tricks helped you and you'll start to create forms that are more engaging, personalized and efficient. So jump on board right now! Sign up for free at formula.com and start boosting your audience engagement with your amazing forms. Leave your questions in the comment section below because they give us inspo to create more useful content for you. Also, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Happy formulaing!